Hey, what's going on everyone? In today's video, we're gonna take this prime rib roast, cut it up into some steaks, cook it in the air fryer two different ways, and see which way tastes the best. Check it out. Here we have our prime rib roast. As you can see, there's a decent amount of marbling and fat around the outside, so plenty of flavor. I was so excited to get to it, so let's get after it. Here we have our roast and it does have bones in it. So the first thing we want to do is to take out the bones. So how you want to do this is ideally you'll have a boning knife. It's called a long boning knife to do this. I do not have one. So I'm just going to take a long general knife instead. What you want to do is find the bones. So there are four different bones in here and just kind of have it guide you as you cut. So right you want to find right at the very top of it where the bone is and you don't want to saw these you just want to kind of let the knife do what it's going to do smooth cuts this is actually the first time i'm doing it so should be good but slowly but surely start to cut away from the bone There you have it, just like that. So now, the very end, cut through. So we now have our boneless steaks that we'll make and we have all of our ribs and I'll probably cut it in half and then throw these in the air fryer when we're done, make some ribs out of it. Now that we have our full, full rack here, next step is to cut it into full steaks. So we want these steaks about an inch and a half thick so I'm just going to use two, about two fingers. So I'll be going maybe about half, halfway through there, each, each one. Here. Here's our finished product, a bunch of good looking steaks just waiting to get air fried, so let's get started. So for our experiment today, we will be using these two steaks cut right from the middle of the steak, and we will just be seasoning them with some sea salt straight from Iceland. Friends, friends got for us for a gift, so. So for our experiment today, we're going to be using the two different grills. We're going to be using the taller one and the shorter one. The shorter one, obviously, it's a little bit farther away from the direct heat, so it's going to take a little longer to cook. The top one, closer to the heat, so it's going to be a little faster cooking. So uh, I'm going to cook both to about medium rare for the most part, uh, and we'll see which one we like better. So time to cook. We're hungry.
snakes are finally done. There's not much of a difference, unfortunately, not as much of a difference as I wanted to, but we have option A and option B. Cooked them two different ways. Time to test it and see which one you like the best. They came from the same steak, but go ahead, you cut your piece first. Really good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tastes like a ribeye should. Nice and juicy and flavorful. All right. This is number two, option B. Mm. It's really good, but I like the first one. You like the first one better. All right. Okay. You know, it tastes just as good. I think the tenderness mm -hmm. is the difference, right? Yeah, I think so. Maybe because I, I think the end piece. <laughs> no, they're both they're both from the middle. You know what? It's funny. I think I like the first one. I said the same thing. <laughs> no, no, I like. Sorry, I uh. like the second choice. I like the second <laughs> choice better. It's just a little bit more tender but so this one was cooked on top at the very top of it at same uh i cooked them about to 129 degrees that one was cooked on the bottom and took a, just a little bit longer now unfortunately because there was not that much of a difference between the fats and everything i actually have it still going since i have a lot more steak i'm gonna crank up the heat i'm gonna crank it up to 480 I'm gonna put it back at the top and see if I can get, get it a little bit more crispy and see if we like that one a little bit more. So, with the magic of editing. <laughs> okay, so the third one just came out. That was at the top, very, very top with 480 degrees versus the 400. It's gonna be a little warmer than the other ones we just tasted. As you see, there's a little less steak on the plate now than there was when, you, when I left you. And we're a little hungry. All right, here we go. This is this is option number three. That one's yours. So I mean, it's gonna taste a little warmer, obviously, but that shouldn't play too much into it. Ready? <laughs> what? You want this? I oh, you baby. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. One, two, three. You know what? Even though that I cooked, I I cooked it to right around the same temperature. It was a little, little chewier. I would say the sense, same. Right? Little chewier. So. I still like the first one. You like the first one? So my opinion doesn't change. Her opinion doesn't change. But it's good to experiment. So. Ultimately, if you eat a ribeye coming from the air fryer, you're gonna enjoy it no matter what. But uh, this gives us something to do, uh, do. Uh, different ways to cook it, uh, shows us that there's no big difference. So that's it. If you liked the video, give it a big old thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to, to the channel for more of these videos. Gonna be testing a lot of different things as we go forward. Uh, and yeah, that's it. So I'll see you guys next time.